Welcome back, gang. We had a big day today. Big symbiote fight. Full disclosure. I didn't love Carnage when I was a kid. I know. I'm sorry. I feel so guilty about it. Uh, I feel really bad admitting it aloud. I just didn't love him. Uh, and I think it was just the timing of when I became more aware of him. Uh, and it wasn't... I don't think it was Marvel's fault particularly. It may not have even been uh, their intention. Uh, but when when I became aware of Carnage, it was at a time when I was, yeah, I was a kid. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, when I became aware of Carnage, it was at a time when uh, me and my little friends uh, had seen so much marketing for everything like snacks and media like cartoons and TV shows and other comic book characters and stuff uh, that all kind of it was like they went to the same marketing firm and they were like you know what kids love nowadays things to be extreme you know and that, that's just how carnage hit me you know me and my friends were making fun of that kind of shit already, you know? Like, we had to have Doritos, but they're extreme. These aren't your dad's Twizzlers. Like, that was... <laughs> that was the... Oh, shit, he's getting his health back. That was the marketing for everything, you know? And when we became very much aware of it, it was just so oversaturated with every fucking thing. Oh, that's how he's getting his health back. You know? It was like the same thing happened kind of with hip hop uh, where like hip hop culture was kind of taken off. If you weren't around back then, like there was definitely, you know, a lot of these companies wanted their, their products to be seen as hip and cool. Not even by like just uh, kids who like lived in the hood, like kids in general thought that shit was cool, right? So they wanted everything to fucking kind of have that, that kind of that vibe and energy about it. So you'd get the fucking colonel from Kentucky Fried Chicken doing like the running man or some shit, you know? And me and my friends would just look at each other and like roll our eyes like, what the fuck is going on? Like, I wanted hip hop to be popular, you know? Uh, I wanted everyone to enjoy this thing that we collectively love. We want everyone to love it. But then we got to look at what it was to have that and it's just being defiled by these companies trying to fucking use it to make money sell chicken nuggets or whatever the fuck they're trying to do you know oh, I gotta eat this guy but in the years since like I've definitely read stories with Carnage uh, where he's uh, more than just like a, a pandering insert character, you know? That was just, you know, you can't really, you don't get a second chance to make a first impression, you know? So that residue, that first feeling I had for him will always be present. But I do know that he's uh, a more complex and integral character, especially in certain stories. Uh, he has some really good stories. But that first, my first interaction with him I was like, these motherfuckers are like all going to the same marketing firm. Oh, 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 ah, all right. uh, but we're not talking about Carnage a whole lot today. I wanted to talk about uh, Deadpool and Wolverine. I know you're probably sick of it. Uh, everybody's talking about it. It's everywhere. It's all in your feed, probably. I'm aware you've probably seen like a million reviews, probably seen like video essays people saying they love it people saying they hate it like everybody's talking about it uh i don't really want to talk about the movie directly uh, i've kind of talked about it a little bit here and there already uh given my general thoughts uh what i want to talk about was <laughs> some of the behind the scenes drama because uh there is a little bit there's a little bit of tea i've become privy to uh, especially with uh some of the cameos that didn't necessarily make it into the movie 
you know? Because Tatiana Maslany, the actress who plays She-Hulk, has been raising quite the stink because She-Hulk got cut from the movie. Hold that thought, we're getting some story. yourself what is this did you wear the suit mm -hmm. once only for a few hours hmm. i think this is adrian tombs right bonded itself to you it's amazing you've survived any encounter with any brock at all the microscopic suit particles in you want to join with the suit brock wears fascinating hmm. let's see if we can help them in case this kills you I want you to know, I think your father was a genius. Ten years ahead of the curve. Hmm. Status? I mean, injected Peter with a symbiote, and then he was surprised when he turned into a symbiote. Hey. Right. That's uh, how science works, guys. I don't know if, you, uh, if you're aware, but uh, it's not an exact... Uh, uh, uh yes. what's the word I'm yes. looking for? Eddie? Eddie, what's going on? I have absolute total control. Now then. Finally we get the, the venom we recognize at the very end of the the game. Which right? way? Uh, Melee pulls out the blam blam. All right, Trask. Tell me about my father. Trask is a fucking gangster. Who could ever want to know about your parents? Is right here. I've had it since I found out. Let's go, Pete. Job's not finished. You again? Down, boy. My contract with Trask expired ten minutes ago. And if you're chasing him, don't worry. He doesn't know how to fly that helicopter. That's how it works. But That's you how you fly a helicopter. No hard feelings. Yank back and forth on the controls. Uh. All right. It's <laughs> another fucking machine gun. All right. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right. Let me see. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. I really do like this version of uh, Venom. Uh, the, the story and everything. Like, I know there's a lot of people just in anything, anytime. I think I've talked about this a little bit before. Anytime anybody changes the recipe just a little bit just they're automatically like this sucks it's different than what i'm familiar with fuck it you know and they don't want to give it a chance which is their right you know i want it to be like what i'm familiar with why are you messing with it why are you changing it, it was perfect before and i get it i respect that uh i'm just i'm uh, i'm a little more flexible and easy going uh, come on let's go so having them having their parents be uh Co-workers who developed the symbiote, uh, uh, and then um, having them kind of be family friends. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I like that story. Uh, but anyways, what I was saying about Tatiana Maslany is <clears throat> she has been making some some comments about how she feels she hoped deserved to be in. Deadpool and Wolverine. Uh, them excluding her. She's implying that it's like sexist and they don't have enough inclusion and diversity. Uh, she's saying that because there aren't more people of different sexual orientations that it is uh, homophobic in a way. She said they just missed an opportunity to have it be more diverse. 
Um, and She-Hulk, because she breaks the fourth wall, deserved to be in this movie. Uh, and uh, I just don't think she got the point of what the movie was. Like, it's definitely, having seen it, it's definitely supposed to be, it's not supposed to be about the MCU. It's just supposed to be a love letter to what came before it, what paved the road for it. You know, Disney has acquired all of these, uh, these characters from Fox. And if you just left it to Disney, they'd probably sweep it under the rug and forget about it. And this movie is kind of like celebrating all of them. Fantastic Four, the old X-Men movies, uh, which definitely did pave the way for the MCU, you know? Those first two X-Men movies were incredible. Blade was incredible. Um, they both were really successful uh, early on. Oh, I think I'm dead. Hold on. I don't know. I like that Deadpool and Wolverine was giving uh, the Fox uh, movies and uh, the movies that came before the MCU. I like that it was giving them their flowers, right? Uh, I think a lot of us kind of grew up with those movies. Um, uh, also, not to get too much into the woke bullshit, like I think a lot of people are sick of like how much they're trying to force uh, certain types of characters in DEI uh, narratives and things like that, you know? Uh, da, 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 da. From what I've heard, like they've kind of purged a lot of the activists posing as screenwriters and things like that uh, from from the the writers' room. It just really it really kind of screams entitlement when you're saying like, oh, "My character deserves to be in this movie," you know? Ah, God damn it! You know, you're really saying I deserve because you're playing him, you know. Uh, and one of the scenes that they're talking about, like she's upset that they're they removed. It's not even just that they removed it. They said they're not even going to put it like in the deleted scenes or anything like that or release it to be seen like online or anything like that. Like they usually do. Uh, I guess she had a fight scene, which she prepared for where she fights Logan. And she beats him, quote unquote, in an embarrassing way. And uh, then she turns to the camera and says something like condescending to all the men in the audience. Uh, let me get out of here. And yeah, I, if I was Ryan Reynolds and or Hugh Jackman, I'd be like, what the fuck? You know, not on my fucking watch. Like, I'm going to tell you right now, let it have been me that I'd eat raw chicken breast for 20 some odd years no seasoning and inject HGH into my ass for every fucking movie then as some random bitch sashay on the set and tell me how she deserves the fucking be in a fight scene where she gets to clown my character I've been working on for the past 20 some odd years like no no it ain't going down like that partner oh boy all right it's gonna be close what the fuck uh oh. Alright, doesn't look like Trask made it this time. <laughs> oh, come on. I think we got him. I think we got him. Uh, piecing him up. Uh. Even Eddie's some of those fucking Shoto specials. It was over. All right, and that's now Ultimate Spider-Man, everyone. I'm gonna be honest. I remember this game being a lot better. I was a lot more excited when I first played it when I was a kid. Um, I still love it. I have fond memories. This has been a fun walk down memory lane. But I can definitely see the cracks now. <laughs> Things I think is your father, you'll need to hear. 
you're going to find that there are people in this world, people who you are going to look at and say, why is this person like this? Mm -hmm. I find myself surrounded by people who will do or say anything just for the appearance that they are better than they are. Yeah. There were three survivors of the crash. They all reported seeing the same thing. One of the witnesses was my mother. She died in the ambulance. Peter, you did good today. Eddie needs to see this. It's about our parents. Eddie's not here. He was gone before we showed up. We'll find him. We always do. Mr. Trask. I have been looking forward to this. Eddie? Get him, Eddie. I can't believe. You know what I can't believe? I can't believe that after all the things you did. What do you guys think of Soul Patch Eddie? The old flavor saver. You can't do anything to me in here. The guards they are The transformation was seamless. Back in two thousand one? I don't remember when this game came out. You wanna talk about it? I wouldn't I wouldn't know where to begin. You can just ramble. I'm okay. I love you. I know. It's just... What? Eddie. I mean... He's out there. And I don't know if I'm scared of him or for him. No. I'm here. Trying really hard not to judge this game too harshly. I know it's a product of its time, right? Uh, I don't want to judge it by today's standards, right? Uh, I know my perception is skewed because I love this character and I love this comic book run. Uh, but as a game. Uh, like I said, I can definitely see the cracks. I had fun though. Uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys. Uh, leave me a like, uh, subscribe. You'll get new episodes every single day. Um, I think I'm gonna start Spider Man 2 on PlayStation 5 soon. I don't know. I don't want to do too much Spider Man. I want to give you guys a little bit of a break uh, before I come back around to it. Let you guys digest these episodes. Uh, but I appreciate you. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.